Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> oh, who loves Haitians? Nobody. Apparently, it's just me. I'm the only one. There you go. Uh, Romany, Romany, Romany. You yeah. are the best. You're the best. No, dude. I got mad got love me. for Haitians, by the way. Everybody used to make fun of Haitians when I was a kid. But in South Florida, Haitians get kicked around, man. They like, do. I uh, noticed. Go ahead. I, no, I I mean, like, when I, cause, I was cause, yeah, no, because uh, uh, but the, the black kids used to kick the Haitians around. The fucking you know the white kids had no love for them, like yeah. you know, because they're you know it's it, it's a it's it's a fucked up thing because they got the accent, they speak uh, you know half French, right? Yeah, People exactly. used to make fun of them that they ate cats. I don't even know where that <laughs> came from. They're not Alf. Yo, you know, my family being Trinidadian, we got the same shit because we had the accent and the whole thing. We got the same shit. And I was in a, up in West Palm Beach looking at some property up there. And um, I, the way that I find out about property is you usually ask, you go to the precinct and you ask the mailmen because the mailmen tell you what the community is really like. And I went to this mailman, first dude I talked to, and I was like, ain't this a bitch? I said, yo, man, what do you think about this area over here? He goes, man, I wouldn't go down there because that's where them Haitians is at. <laughs> and I'm like, god damn, Haitians just get a bad rap constantly. Same thing. I, I, I was in Fort Lauderdale and getting a bad rep in, in, in Fort Lauderdale too. No, it's, it's the weirdest thing because, like, Dominicans don't get that shit. Dominicans are just like like the, they're just the black Hispanics. Like they're yeah. just like it's just like another Dominicans slide in down there thing. Miami. They they fit in everywhere. They do. But they get shit in Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricans and Dominicans don't. Oh, play they hate each other, boy. They be oh, the yeah. dishes. They, well, they they're the same dishes. They call them two different things and you can get smacked in the face for calling it the wrong dish. I yeah. learned that when I was in Puerto Rico. I was like, "Oh, this is such and such." They like, "No, no, no. That's Dominican bullshit." I'm like, I'm like "It's the same food." Exactly. Right? The stakes are too fucking high when it comes to Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. I try to keep my mouth shut. Oh, I just man. know I know it's the, I know it's a Dominican when he's like, Matatan que la que hay. That's that kind of Dominican <laughs> thing that they put on their shit. But yeah. Oh, dude. But they, the thing about the Dominicans and the Haitians are, are are weird because it's the same goddamn island. They just drew a line through the center of it. Oh, that is bizarre, man. That is it, bizarre. It's a totally different lifestyle though, because I, I went to Dominican Republic and Everybody there, like they act like it's not on the same island. They act like it's another third world country or something. Oh no, and, and so that's crazy. the thing is, by the way, Dominican Republic's got some problems, right? They oh, ain't yeah. got Haiti's problems. Haiti's got Haiti's got get the fuck out of Haiti problems. Like Haiti's got some they got right, some look, real issues. You guys are so still fun. talking about this. Look, let's talk about something important. Tomorrow okay. I'm supposed <laughs> to give a speech. <laughs> oh God. Uh to the Dripping Springs Women's Club. Okay. <laughs> and right I up my alley. It. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the I just wanna I just wanna say <laughs> you are all privileged to listen and watch the just buffet of cultural and racial issues that we provide to you on the Night Attack podcast. I mean it's tough. This because... is an experience. The Pantone color uh wheel of America is presented to you weekly on the Night Attack podcast. <laughs> Um, did, you, did so, you notice how Romney's got the white background, I got the black background, and we're on the bottom and y'all are on top? This oppression, man, this shit just got to stop, man. <laughs> this oppression, dude, up. this is real. Man, uh, fucked uh, up, man. bring it up fucked with up. our producer, <laughs> Bryce <laughs> Castillo. God damn it. What do you mean, our producer? <laughs> 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 Yeah. As a racial liaison, I just had to point it out. Okay, right. as a racial liaison, you showed up on the show with a mask and glasses and a gun. Right? <laughs> like, so look, thank look, you. Look, look, that's a character. I'm just saying, somebody was trying to get old doctor a job. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> By the way, by the way, Justin, not for nothing, but I, I really like the way our sets complement each other. They're the they they, they you match. guys are the movie Blue, posters right? of podcasting. Yeah, we are the movie posters of podcasting. The posters of podcasting. Fusion ha. Huh? I think that this shit has sold out. Am I? Oh shit! I think the perks. No way. It couldn't have sold. No God. way. Really? Did we? Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure. I, I, I might be hyping this oh, up. Let me see something. Hmm. Can can someone check for me? Because I'm a little slow here. Yeah, Hold I'm, on. I'm going to check for you. I'm going to check for you. I got it. Okay. Uh, 257 backers. No, 31 out of 50 gone. 31. Well, oh, okay. Here, let me get in right now while in I can. In about five seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Really going to sell out? I feel bad that I didn't put more up. Oh, I'll, I'll bet you if it would have went up at the beginning of the show, it would have been sold out by the middle of the show. 
He so yeah, someone said exactly. Someone said make seventeen one that's one thousand oh he wants yeah, one thousand strong. So basically I a little thousand people. Damn it, I kinda oh well. <laughs> Does it let you add more to that perk? Because I think if you add a different perk, it might change that link that we made. It, exactly. That's exactly what will happen. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, I oh, by the way, I love that you broke down the whole budget thing, man. Oh, that's so good. So many Kickstarter or uh, crowdfunding campaigns. Dude, yeah, no, it's just this. This, this. And, and to be honest, I, I didn't realize you had done that. If I had, we would have talked about it more. But I didn't want to intrude. I, I was afraid it would look... I, I don't know, rude for me to ask, like, well, where is the money going to? But, right. uh, but this is great. Yeah, dude. You know, the reason that there's so much money for talent and hair and makeup is because the goal is, is that when I put people in the movie who are recognizable, yeah. it's to make them not recognizable anymore. Oh, like, shit. That's great. So I got, like, prosthetics for the teeth. I, got, I have a guy on set that's ready to, like, okay, we got to get you set up. We got to change your eye color. We got to change you know your hair color whether it's a wig whether it's a dye because i don't want people to be recognized in the movie and i oh, don't I bet, want them to bet, look like they're made up either you know i bet i bet you have no shortage of uh hollywood friends who would love to show up and do a little bit thing in this i have been it's it's the weirdest thing like man kevin hart called me yesterday and he was like dude i'm about to do a full bull, blow you know blow up a promotion of your a three-step promotion of your thing and he's like i'm contributing too bruh because i want to see this happen you know let me know if you need me it's like i get those calls get gary owen call me the other um yesterday as well actually mike i got it yeah you're, you're absolutely right you know you know what's crazy when you walk up to jake gyllenhaal and he was like dude you know you're the master right <laughs> Straight <laughs> motherfucking Gyllenhaal. I mean, listen, Romney, we've all been there. We've uh, all been there. You walk up to Jake Gyllenhaal. He tells you you're the master. Uh, it just makes you feel good. It washes over you. Exactly. I'm like, what? I didn't know. I had no clue what he was talking about. And then I realized he he thought I was Idris Elba. But still, it was a compliment. <laughs> you're no. like, damn, yeah. Idris, did you lose some weight? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So you were taller. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. I swore you were British. Huh. Maybe I, maybe it was Wikipedia. He's like, man, that, that Brooklyn accent. No. But but anyway, I was just going to say that, Um, yeah, man, I have been getting a lot of love. And every, every celebrity that I've talked to about sharing it, for the most part, has been like, yeah, but what about me being in it? And yeah. that... You know, it's just I, I got to make them not look like themselves. I mean, you know as long I mean? as you don't mind just using air quotes when we say celebrity, uh, that goes for Justin and I, because I guarantee you we will fly. You name a date and a background and a costume and everything will we'll be prisoner number seven and prisoner number 19. Well, number one, I'm, I, I was I was down just to fly out to Hollywood so I could stand outside the high lie and just like read a newspaper or something. If it's in L.A., I can drive down there. That's even easier. To Doesn't there. matter. <laughs> it's the uh, same distance either way for this guy. I'm, I, I'm, I want to go. I want to go. Oh, shit. What? I'm not going to talk too soon. I'm not going to talk too soon. All right. But I already know where. I already know where you go. It's the. I already know. Oh, I. That's oh my know. God. You. I'm not saying anything. That's okay. Hey, have either one of you guys ever sucked dick for crack? Because you're about to. You're about to. Nope. nope. I'm not totally going to do anything. There's nothing stereotypical in this. You're going to blow a German Shepherd. Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> It's gonna be shot. Go. Number one, Sutter Kane is hitting me up, trying to fucking trump me on South Florida geography. The high lies in Dania. You've been away from South Florida too long. Fuck you. It's fucking a, a half mile up to the tropical acres, which is technically Hollywood. So you can suck my nuts. Oh, oh I see. I hear. I see you now. Okay. There you are, right there. So the high lie is where exactly? Dania, the Dania high lie. But it's literally, it's all like within five seconds of each other. Oh, okay, all within five seconds of, of, of Hollywood. Yeah. And I, right I feel like I feel like I, I I feel like I recall it, but I haven't been there in like a about four or five months, so I don't I don't remember. You shouldn't you shouldn't need to Hollywood? I do love Hollywood because it is like it's it's this kind of really grody beach area. Between Fort Lauderdale, which has its own kind of shit going, and obviously like Aventura, North Miami, and everything, it's got its own shit going. Hollywood, for whatever, is just the land that time forgot. Like it, it is, is uh, so Hollywood Beach. But that was my too. favorite it's beach so as a kid. 
like it, it's that place where you can find it's that place where you can find needles on the beach. You know, you got to be freaking careful when you walk it was, around. Yeah, that it's not. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it might have. I mean, it just it just kind of became like you don't want to know what it was really really big at the last time I was down there was people like European couples that are just booking their shit off the internet. They would oh, get sucked yeah. into the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood hotels. Because they're like, oh, it's Hollywood. It's named Hollywood. It's in South Florida. It's right close to Fort Lauderdale. It's close to Miami. And they're like, oh, wait, shit. This hotel probably is haunted. <laughs> I wish I could show you a Tijuana Jackson, just a little Tijuana Jackson skit that I did about Hollywood, Florida. And, you know, because, you know, I spent a lot of time there. My brother lived there. And it really is sketchy is the right term, man. It's transient. It's sketchy. There are a lot of junkies. Yeah. A lot of, you know. Um, but at the same time, I feel like they do a lot of work to try to upkeep the city. And then and, and the, the Hollywood Florida Film Commission really, you know, they really try. We, we've been communicating with them and they really do try. So, part, you know, it looks beautiful, but unfortunately the underbelly is on another level. No, yeah, it's a little. I mean, the problem is, is a, it's Florida, so you're just you're you're only gonna be, especially South Florida. Yeah, there's only you're only gonna be able to get so far away from some of the sketchiness. Like you know, there's just it, it's where basically. All right, here's how you can understand South Florida if you ain't never been there. You ever known that member of your family or somebody that like your dad knew that just had to leave town because he owed too many people money? They come to South Florida. Like, where do you think well, they go? Just... They come down there. You know, it's funny, man. You know, I've been to a few places in my life where it felt as though it were just the place for every tool in America to gather <laughs> and and drink. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, and, and I've definitely ran into a few areas in Florida where I felt like that. I was like, wow. It's like this is this is medi the capital of mediocrity right here. You know what I mean? Just a few areas. <laughs> No, yeah. I mean, listen, it's uh, I, I, I love, 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 love South Florida because it'll always be my home. But it is it is it is a unique taste. <laughs> it is a unique taste. But I love that. I always tell people I'm like, it's a very unique part of the United States. It's like there is like you said, there is a lot of diversity there. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and, 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 and people don't know this. But, you know, yes, of course, you have the Cuban population and a lot of the Caribbean and all of that. But there's a lot of Europeans in friggin South yep. Florida. You yeah. Know? And anyway, I, 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 I like it, but I, I, I couldn't make myself feel at home no matter what. I, I, no, I, it's, yeah. I mean, the, it's the not a homey place. <laughs> it's a visit here's, place. Here's, yeah. here's the problem. And you want to know where else I kind of felt this sort of vibe, but in a different direction was Hawaii. Prison. Where it's, oh, Hawaii. <laughs> where it's yeah. like, <laughs> it's nice enough. And there's enough shit that's there to cater to you just living. Just. Yeah. Drink on the beach, fuck around, bars are open late, women are pretty. Like, there's just enough creature comfort, right, that if That's you want to not be ambitious, man, it will roll out the red carpet for your lack of ambition. It will make you feel good for your lack of getting shit done. And you will have plenty of friends that'll be like, man, whatever, you work too hard. Why don't you come out? Like... And it's that's why I had to go. I, I, I had to go because it got to a point where it's like, hey, listen, when, when I go do something that I'm proud of and I bring it to all my friends and they're all like, eh, yeah, cool, because they feel bad that they're not doing stuff. Then yeah, it's like, th those I, I got to get into friends. a better. I got to get some more oxygen around me to make these explosions bigger. No, no, dude. I tell you, it's man, you know, look, I, I, I've been around a little bit and I definitely I definitely feel as though when I was younger in, in Hollywood, <laughs> I remember trying to like, you know, I would meet girls and we hang out and whatnot, making out or whatever. But whenever I tried to have a conversation of substance, it just was not the place. It just, I almost got like the kind of weird, like, and I was like, oh, I guess I shouldn't go there. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, no, I mean, listen, like, and it's different strokes for different folks, man. Everybody moves, for, everybody moves at different speeds, but, uh, you know. That, that's why America is a great place because you can yeah. travel around to a lot of different kinds if, of places. If, and you don't you want people to keep it real, you just got to be in the Northeast. Everybody in the Northeast don't give a fuck about your field. They talk about the real world, the real shit. They be ignorant. They don't give a fuck. Everybody out West is always nice and placating. 
Yeah, you know, you got a point there. I mean, you know, look, Puerto Rico's got a little element of this, of, 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 of like, you know, the slacker thing too, you know. I think a lot of people come here, you know, you don't have to be wealthy to live in paradise here in Puerto Rico, you know what I mean? What? <coughs> uh, <coughs> what hey. just happened? Uh, our switching computer has crashed. <coughs> um, Shit the bed. Pretty fatally. Um, so we're going to... Right on. Uh, I mean, we still have the stream. No, that's fine. Uh, it's just you and me. It's Here, just, let's uh, just say what everyone else is saying. What uh, do you think about South Florida? Oh, I think South Florida is great. I have a super yeah, nuanced no, history. You, you know what I think uh, is that certain ethnicities have certain habits no. that I want to point out. I, I believe that those activities are slightly different. Oh, well, uh, you weren't there. Oh, wait, but you were? Oh, golly. Well, there it is. Love you guys. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, bye, I, I think bye, we're going to have to call it. Bye, I bye, mean, bye. Bye, just, bye, okay. bye, 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 bye. Still. <laughs> Bryce is flying to Orlando. He's got this. Oh.